Lucky Octopus. Only the octopus only had seven legs. The last one will grow. The, the ocean doctor said the day Oli was born. But when? But when? Asked Oli's mother. She was very sad. When Oli turns eight years old, the doctor said, For seven years, Oli's brothers and sisters tease her, tease her about her missing leg. <coughs> she was the youngest octopus in the family. Her sister, her sister Olivia was the oldest. Oli only now seven legs because she isn't part of our real family. Olivia told the other sea creatures one day. It was a lie, but everyone believed Olivia because she was the oldest. When the other sea creatures play games like tug and hide and seek, Oli's brother Oscar wouldn't let Oli play. You can't catch a fish with only seven legs, Oscar said. Go and find a friend that has extra leg to play with. Only search, only search around the ocean, but there weren't any kind sea creature to play with. She was very lonely. One day, Oli's brother Orlando so only playing by herself in the seaweed. He was very happy. <clears throat> Guess what I found today? Orlando said, A treasure chest. It is from a ship and it is full of beautiful jewels. Can I see it? Olis asked, I have always dreamed of seeing a treasure chest. I'm not showing it to anyone, Orlando said, especially not a tiny octopus with only seven legs. Oli went home and told her mother that she was sad. Everyone treats me differently because I only have seven legs, she said. Tomorrow is your eighth birthday and you will finally grow another leg and you will never be lonely. That night, Oli dreamed that she grow another leg. Everyone celebra celebrated and eat delicious food. She was so happy. But the next day, when Oli woke up and counted her leg, there were still seven. Oli hide in the seaweed, patch and cry. She was so sad. Suddenly, a sea fairy appeared. It was the tiniest creatures Oli had seven, had seven, had ever seen. You are the lucky octopus I have been waiting for. The sea, yes, only the luckiest octopus get to make three wishes. Oli knew exactly what I wish to wish for. First, 
I wish that Olivia was honest. Olive said, Your wish is granted. Now you, you have more two wishes. The fairy said, Second, I wish that Oscar was kind. And now he is. The fairy said, And now what is your last? Orlando was fair, Olive said. Before the tiny sea fairy disappeared, she told Olive that she was the kindest octopus in the, in the whole sea. I wish that all your birthday dreams come true. The sea fairy said, before she swim away, when Ollie got home, her family was waiting for her. Surprise! They said all at once. I bought you a present. Oscar said, It's a beautiful pearl necklace. Thank you, Ollie, said you are so very kind. I bake a, delici a delicious cake for you. Orlando said, and I invite all the sea creatures to share it with us. You are very fair. Ole said, thank you for sharing. I'm very sorry. I don't have present for you. Olivia said, I forgot I was, it was your birthday. That's okay, Ole said. You are very honest. Thank you, Ollie. Thank you. Ollie's mother swam over her daughter with a red birthday balloon. I'm so happy for you, Ollie, she said. Why, mother? Look, you've finally grown your eighth leg. Ollie's mother tied the balloons to her daughter's new leg. It was it was the happiest days of all his life. And that's all. Thank you. Bye bye.